Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today I'm going to show you really quick um, how I plan what activities we're going to do for the next week. So um, I try to change them out every week. Sometimes I, I change them out every other week, just depending on how busy we've been and what's been going on. Um, but these are the drawers for just my um, four-year-old and my six-year-old. And so for my six-year-old, these two drawers are his phonics and reading. And then these two drawers here are his math. Um, and we've been using my um, phonics for reading program. So you can see all of that here. And then we have been using um, my early learners math curriculum as well as um, just other math activities that I've made on my site, um, like the fractions one that you see here and stuff like that. So um, all of his activities actually for the past two weeks have been in these drawers. And then down here, the green drawers are like history and math stuff, um, which I don't change out every week or even every other week. We change them out um, just when we, whenever we need to, and I don't need to change them out, so I'm just going to leave them as they are. Um, but then the purple drawers are for my four-year-old. And sometimes it, this one gets stuck. Okay, um, and you can see we've been using my phonics for reading program with him as well. He's also got a lot of the um, uh, activities from my, I have a ton of seasonal activities that go with every season of the year. And I need to change these out, you can see, because we still have Thanksgiving activities in there. And then, um, so these two green, uh, purple drawers, excuse me, are the reading and then the two pink drawers down here are math stuff. Um, and so we've been using my early learners math curriculum. Sorry, my hand is like going all over the place with this camera. Um, we've been using my early learners math curriculum with him as well. And then he also has just a bunch of, um, like I said, the fall and Thanksgiving activities in here that need to be changed out for Christmas activities. So what I do is I literally, let's put that back. Okay, I literally take the whole drawer out so what I'll do is I'll take the first two drawers and my little one, look at this, he's trying to get into stuff. Um, <laughs> I'll take the first two drawers, which are the reading and phonics activities for my um, six-year-old. And I will go through and I will decide, okay, is it something that we got to this um, month? Or I mean this week and we already did it and I want to take it out? Or is it something I want to keep in here and continue on for the next week? All right, so um, he has been working through, I, I did actually throw some hot dots. I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are kind of fun. I threw these this in here just for him to do, and it's ripped because my little one got into it. But I threw these in here just for him to do something fun and extra besides um, all of this, which is all of my phonics program. So what I will do then is I'll go through. I think I'm going to take out these long anything long vowels because he's pretty much past that we finished the long vowel unit i would say he's pretty good to go so i'm going to take those out and this was like an activity center from that unit um now this i will keep in here so he's been working through long vowels and then he's also gone into the next unit which is um beginning blends and i think i'm going to keep these in here because he's only done you can see he's done this page and this page and that's about it so I will keep those in here so anyways this is what I do I go through and I decide like this is um, beginning blend so I'm gonna keep that one in here and this one was a long vowel one so I'm going you can see how he did that so I'm going to take that one out these were long vowel from the long vowel unit so I'm gonna take this one out because he's done most of that so you can see that's what I do I go through and I decide what we want and then or what I still want to keep in here and then what I want to take out. So after I've done all that, and I do all of the reading first, and then um, I, and then I'll do my other son, all of his reading stuff, and then I'll go to the math and do that. And so after I go through and I decide, because I have two drawers here of stuff, <laughs> obviously you can see, that he has been working on. Once I go through it all and decide what I want to keep in here for the following week or two, and most of it will be coming out because it's time to kind of switch things up. So most of this stuff, oh, and he was doing some digraph stuff too. I kind of mixed it. Um, so most of this stuff will be coming out. And then as like this is coming out, it's a long vowel activity. 
This will stay in here. This is one of my roll and read um, activities. So this works on all sorts of different um, phonics things. And so this will probably stay in here for quite a while. And we will just do it as we go, depending on what phonics um, skill we're working on. This is actually not from my phonics for reading program. It is just an extra. I have um, roll and read activities on my website. And I'll leave a link below too. There's a bundle of um, different roll and read activities you can get. But anyways, um, so... I, I still have to like go through all of this and decide, and these are my simple sentence books, he's done those, I'm going to take those out. So I'll decide what we're going to keep and what we're not. Then when I, this gets pretty bare, what I do is I go over to my cabinets and let me show you that. So this is my cabinet here and you can see I just have like over here I have the different units for phonics for reading program. I only have five units in my cabinet right now because those are the units we're using. Once we get to, um, there's nine units altogether. once we get to um, farther on I will switch them out but I didn't have enough room in my cabinets here to keep all nine units so I'm just keeping like the ones that we we need right now okay so then what I will do is I will pull out the um, and up here you can see these um, ones are just all sorts of other activities that revolve around reading and phonics but they don't actually go with the whole with the program and we still use all those activities too if you have any of my ultimate bundles like my ultimate kindergarten bundle or my uh, kindergarten literacy curriculum or any of that that's what this stuff is so um okay so what i'll do is i will decide like okay so he's working on blends so i'll pull this one out i'll get to show you so i'll pull this one out and then um Whatever is in here that I want him to do for the week, I will take this stuff and then go put it in his um, bins that I have emptied out. And then anything that needs to be put away, like I had a bunch of long vowel stuff that needed to be put away, you saw up here um, the long vowels, and I will just put it all back where it goes. And that is what I do. That's what I do for both of the kids. Um, depending on what they are working on, I know like up here I have a bin for short vowels another bin for short vowels, and then I have my unit two for short vowels. That is what my four-year-old is working on. So I know I'll need to be pulling out those three bins and going through and just deciding what activities I want him to do, and then putting those in his drawer. So when I finish that, then I move on to math, and I do the same thing. I clear out what, I'm, what they're done with in their drawers, and then I get out the math stuff, and let me show you my math cabinets. So this cabinet here has all of the units from my early learners math curriculum, as you can see here. And um, so then I do the exact same thing. After I have cleared out their math um, bins, drawers I should say, then I come through here, I pull out the unit that they're working on, I go through and pick out activities that I want them to do for the week, and then I put it back. So that is how I do it. Now, one other thing to mention. So I wanted to mention one other thing. When I am changing out the activities from the different units, some of the activities you need uh, manipulatives for. So like for this robot fraction activity, no, I don't need anything for that. But for like this one, this is the touch point subtraction. If we were gonna do this activity for the week, um, he needs some manipulatives to put on each of the touch points. So what I do is over here in these drawers, the bigger drawers, is where I keep the manipulatives. And I actually, I used to keep them in little um, containers, but my little kids kept getting into them and then they would get the little manipulatives all over and I was worried about them getting them in their mouth. So now I keep them in the bag. So even if they do end up getting in this drawer, they're in a bag and the kids can't get them out. So um, that's why they're like this. But they used to be nice in like little containers, but it is what it is. So what I do is I just keep them all in these bags. I don't do anything. And then the day we're gonna actually do the activity, so let's say today's the day we're gonna actually do this touch point subtraction activity. When I take it out, you know, or when he takes it out of his drawer to do it, um, then we'll just come over here and we'll grab what we need. So, you know, if we need, like, usually I use these little pom-poms with that activity. So we'll just grab it and then he'll have those ready to go. Um, and, you know, or, you know, whatever we need. There's just all sorts of little manipulatives that I have in this drawer. I also have little, um, 
erasers that I keep, but I keep those in another place because I have them in a container. So, um, yeah, so I just keep this drawer full of manipulatives and then like the next drawer, which is kind of empty right now, but this has the actual bins. So, so for example, if we're going to use these manipulatives um, on that activity today, then I'll just throw them in this little cup and he's ready to go. And then we'll put them back in the bag and put them back in the drawer the day that we do it. And it's all cleaned up that day and it's no big fuss. So I do not put the manipulatives in their actual work drawers um, at all. I just, the day we're going to do the activities, we'll pull them out and then whatever I need to go with them, I'll grab them from either here or I have a few other spots where I keep other manipulatives. I'll show you that. So quick. over here, um, these are all of my containers with like my magnetic letters and like I was telling you little erasers are in that one. Um, I keep all of the little containers with letters and things like that here. And then in this one down here, these are all manipulative number manipulatives. So I have like puzzle numbers and um, magnetic numbers. Anything we need for math is right here. And then anything we need for like reading with letters and stuff is right there. So um, it's real easy just like if we're doing a math activity and I need my math manipulatives, I just grab it. Those are some numbers. This is another set of numbers that we use. I mean, they're all just right here. There's a ton of them. So um, that's what we'll do. We'll just grab one of those and we'll be ready to go. So that is what I do. I try to keep it streamlined as much as I can and less work for myself if I can. <laughs> um, so that's what we do and then uh, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, and then the rest of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack on a little, um, some clips of some of our favorite activities that we, that I've shown you over the, uh, years. And, um, some of them, you know, use Play-Doh and some of them use all sorts of, uh, other, um, fun hands-on things. And I'm going to just tack that video on here so you can watch it and, um, I don't know, just so you can see uh, some fun activities that we like to do. If you have questions about those activities, leave the uh, leave your questions in the comments below and I'll try to leave links in the description box to some of those activities. Um, it's gonna go pretty quickly. It's just a quick video um, and I don't have any explanation to it. Like it just has some music with it. But um, you might enjoy seeing those activities and you might get inspired to like, oh, I, I'd really like to do that or do this. And so if you, um, if you have questions about them, like I said, try to leave them in the uh, comments below. I don't always get to all the questions, but I try to. So even if I don't respond to you, I at least try to read them all. <laughs>